All right, I'm gonna install a new fork onto the GT Avalanche 29er. This fork is not tapered, so I'm going to replace the headset. So both these I have to replace to take the tapered tube. First thing I'm going to remove is the uh, brake. This takes a five millimeter. Allen, and then uh, you're gonna remove this. This takes a two, if I'm not mistaken. has been removed. Cable. And it's still set up. Don't pull this. <laughs> Alright. Gonna remove this. This takes a five. And these are different. Sometimes they take four or a five. This is a four. All right, cap this off, and always remember your three millimeter. But I'm probably going to go with a top spacer. Looks like the uh, start, start nut doesn't go too far down the tube. Go ahead and take off the spacers. This is the uh, Suntour XCT. Uh, obviously, it's not uh, tapered. So, obviously, I will not be able to use that as the uh, crown race. The weight of these forks and six pounds six point two ounces so this is what I got for the uh, this is Crank Creek 40 And that's what you get with it. All right, 
just comparing the uh, weight of the this goes on the bottom this is the new one that one's a is that a 0.5 ounce that's going in there that's new and that is two ounces so a different of 1.5 ounces interesting all right this is the upper that's pretty light 0.8 ounces and this is uh, 0.2 ounces weight savings of 0.6 So we'll after you pop it out, just check for any burrs and rough spots. And I used a really uh, fine sandpaper to rub out any burrs or anything bad. So just make sure it feels smooth all the way around and on top. And then I'm gonna clean it up with a little bit of alcohol. Alcohol wipe out the insides. So, there we go. Alright, this is a homemade press, uh, Home Depot. Yeah, it worked out pretty good. Uh, you grease it, and then you just press it in. Uh, the bottom bracket goes in good. This is the right one. Right, there it is. Put the lizard in the front. Pressed in. Next is the bottom. Uh, this is just a Home Depot bolt, half inch. Uh, I should have gone with eight. I got a ten just in case. And this washer costs about five bucks. And I had the wood around, I just drilled the holes. Alright, there it is. Just about going, it's all greased up, lined up, flat, and straight. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Alright, both in tight. No gap. Oh, sorry, no gap. So, good to go. Alright, I got it to stack height. Or basically was before uh, that I used to have this here so it was a lot bigger so luckily I measured <laughs> measured everything first and ordered ordered a bunch of uh, spacers so I got it where I want it I'm gonna keep a six on top just in case I want to adjust it up or down so Go ahead and mark it and mark it at the top here. And then I'm going to mark it uh, right above the uh, stem. All right, it's marked. Everything's tight. All the everything's in. All I have to do is cut it. All right, you get your tool to cut the. Uh, forks to the proper height, I don't know, and just uh, line it in between those two marks, that's uh, about six millimeters, so in between that is three, so we're good to go. There it is, cut, now I gotta file it, make sure I don't get any filings here. Alright, <laughs> this is the uh, tool I used. Uh, So, starting out as in, use the hammer, uh, just set it in here, it was sticking up like this, and just uh, hammered it in, till it bottoms out, and you're good. Alright, you start putting everything back together, uh, adding grease of course, to all areas. 
right? <laughs> you, got, you got greasy hands. So I wiped uh, the uh, this off with uh, alcohol, so none of these would slip on the grease. Everything's greased up, ready to go. Gotta wipe off the excess, clean up my mess. But uh, looking good. That works. All right. Everything's on. Need to wipe it down. And straighten out the handlebars and tighten it down and go for a ride tomorrow. easier to get up this hill. All right, headset's doing good. <laughs> Still losing a little uh, crease, <laughs> but I got overzealous on that. Uh, That's uh, looking good. The uh, shocks are working okay. So yeah, a lot, it's a big difference going up hills, bikes a lot lighter. Either I'm getting better at going up hills or it's getting a lot lighter. Uh, broke a t chain. It's my third time I broke a chain on this and it was just going uphill. I wasn't even shifting gears, so. Uh, I don't know. I think one by system would be good. But, uh, yeah, this is working out great. The bike's a lot lighter, at least. And I can tell the, tell the difference, definitely. Yeah. The feeling of these forks coming down these, uh, down here. Where it's all washboarded it out. What a difference air forks, air forks make. All right, Avalanche 29er 2020. Inside replaced. Headset. Uh, the one in there and the forks. Handles a lot better now. So much lighter. Uh, I remember when I got this, it was about 36 pounds. I got it down to 30 pounds now. Got it with the tubeless tires. And they're working out good. New headset. New forks. Working out good.